Hello, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Live Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you for clicking on the video. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. So y'all already know we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages. These will be general messages. Only take what resonates with you. Do not try to make something fit if it does not. Okay, only get in where you fit in. If it doesn't resonate, then leave it for someone else. Don't know how many different ways I can say it. Past, uh, present, or future energy here. Time is fluid. So I could be picking up on any of those. I could be picking up on your energy, the energy of someone around you, the energy of someone who is thinking about you or who you are thinking about, okay? Also, masculine, feminine energies can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation, okay, Libra? If I say he and it's she for you, feel free to switch the roles. If I say Rebecca and it's Ricky for you, then feel free to switch the energies, okay? Let's go ahead and hop into the messages, guys. I do want to thank you all for your likes, shares, um, subscribes, for your comments. I want to thank you for your donations. I want to thank you for your bookings. If you need any information about me, everything that you need will be in the description box below. How to book with me, how to make donations, um, my email if you just want to send me some type of confirmation of this message or you want to discuss it or whatever and you don't want to get in the comments then my email is open as well okay um but don't send me no negative ish one two three on the timer cross watchers whoever okay all right so holy divine spirit guardian angels ancestors spirit guys spirit team ascended masters of the highest part of light please be with me during this reading for the Libra collective please help me to interpret and convey your messages accurately and clearly and please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding thank you for your continued guidance support protection and love holy spirit archangel michael i ask for your protection during this reading as well thank you in advance thank you for the messages in advance holy spirit i ask the no weapon form against that shall prosper any negative energy evil eye um spell words being sent this way i pray that it is returned to center tenfold and or transmuted into more positive energy i say amen all right okay let's get into the messages libra I'm going to put these because they're about to fall off. All right. So this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I just saw two, three, four on the timer. You could be seeing that. Um, cross watchers, what's up? Anywhere that you have Libra in your chart, I can. Uh, you may resonate with this reading. Okay. <sighs> Already, you showing up on the split here, Libra. You may have earth in your chart or you may be dealing with an earth sign or there's an earth sign in your energy, okay? For Libra. For Libra. What does Libra need to know at this time? Holy Spirit, Lord Angel. Answer the Spirit, God, Spirit Team. What does Libra need to know at this time? Libra, your birthday could be the 24th or the 7th or the 5th. Libra. Ooh, my nose is itchy. Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. I'm hearing gaslighting. I'm also hearing like lighting gas, like lighting a gas stove. Somebody may be lighting a gas stove or something like that. Fireplace, depending on where you are. Get one final shuffle. I haven't used these in a while. I'm hearing something about coming clean. I don't know what that is. Air sign on the top of the deck. I never do that. And an Aries. So you may be dealing with the air sign. Um, Libra Gemini Aquarius, or this is you. You may have Aries in your chart. Um, maybe your moon sign rising or Venus or your north node could be Aries. I'm hearing particularly your moon sign. Um or you could be dealing with an Aries or something about an Aries. For Libra, I think I'm going to do eight cards. Okay, that's... For Libra, for Libra, 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 Libra. Libra. Mm. 
Okay, Libra, I'm feeling there's a need for you to ground and I'm getting your sexual energy or there's some sexual tension. Okay, but I feel that I feel you could be very grounded or there's a need for you to ground some type of sexual energy or there's somebody who's trying to ground or I heard stabilize or de I heard destabilize and stabilize. So there's some type of unsexual, uh, mm -mm, unstable sexual energy. Uh, this could be how you're feeling or this is how somebody is feeling towards you. I feel like somebody's trying to ground the sexual tension or energy that they feel with you. Okay. <laughs> I heard muy attracted. Okay. Somebody's very attracted to you, Libra. Like, and I feel like the sexual energy between the two of you is very high. They're, they see you very, very seductive, very attractive here. Could be a water sign, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You can have this in your chart. Okay, I guess we're gonna do a 10 card spread. Can I get five more cards, please, for Libra? Can I get five more, please? Worthiness. I'm hearing that song. I think it's Calvin Ridges saying, Baby girl, yes, I'm worthy. I feel for you, feel for you. He says, You must be sick and tired of him putting everyone before you. I don't know. That song may mean something to somebody. It's not connecting with me right now, but that's what I heard. Calvin Richardson. Um, Okay, they're, they're giving me another part of the song where it says, now I'm all right with us being friends, but the fact the best man can't win ain't cool. So this is, uh, this could be a friend of yours or this could be somebody that you friend zone who has this sexual energy for you, okay? Um, this could also be a baby, a baby dad or a baby mom, somebody that you have a child with. But it's like, I'm okay with us being friends. We could be cool. But the fact that you're not choosing the best man is just not is not cool. So somebody feels like they're the best person for you. Seven three seven on the timer. Somebody feel like you they should that you should choose them. Or if you are dealing with another person, they feel like um, you're not with the right person, or like they don't, they're the ones who should be with you. Or this could be how you're feeling about someone else, or something like that. Four more cards, please. Oh, that's too many. Libra, good juju. Oh, that song was going through. I, I got that download earlier, like not too long ago. That song, I think it's Trey Songs. Girl, you got that good kind of ooh, uh, 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 kind of sweet, kind of loving. And girl, you got that ooh, baby, yeah, baby, keep it right there. I love it, kind of loving. And then he goes, I love you till there ain't no loving left. Baby, you the best. Okay, somebody's like really smitten 844 or infatuated with you, Libra, or something. I feel like this is going to be revealed to you with the secrets revealed here. Okay, take it. This way. Okay, Aquarius energy. Could be an Aquarius. <laughs> and that card fell in my lap and I heard, um, in those jeans. It tell me, is there any more room for me in those jeans? So I'm really heavily feeling like I'm in, there's a masculine energy pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> Libra, somebody may want to get you pregnant. Okay, Virgo, Scorpio, and water sign is here again, as well as Leo. So you could be dealing with any of these signs, okay? Virgo, Scorpio, water, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. Um, yeah, I'm going to take these out. Yeah, you could be done with any of those signs. Heavy water. And Aquarius is here as well. Two more, please. I'm, I'm really feeling like I'm, picking, I'm in the energy of a masculine. Okay? Because it's not five God or the Tiger. 
I'm getting heavy sexual energy here, but I don't know. Two more, please. Okay, we got one. One more, please. I feel like those are side notes. That may not be what the energy is about, what the read is about, but, you know, I just give y'all the messages as they come to me. Um, somebody's birthday could be October 24th. You could be done with a Scorpio. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, yeah. See, see, look. Sacred lust. I'm telling you, this person is lusting after you. They, Yeah, they're trying to find a way to speak up. They're trying to find a creative way to say something, to speak up, to tell you how they feel or something like that. This person is going to be speaking up. Yeah, you're going to get a message mm, or or some signs of synchronicity or something. But I feel like this, whoever this is, they're... They're going to be speaking up to you soon. This person could have been hiding. Look, yeah, it fell out. You may have to speak up about something. Something Somebody is going to speak up about you, how they feel about you, how they feel that you're worthy of some type of like attention or something. I'm hearing, girl, you're a blessing, 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 okay? Yeah, some secrets are revealed here. Somebody's about to open up their mouth and say something to you, bro. Yeah, the moon card. Something's going to be revealed. And look, now you got the naked card showing up. You got all the little pleasure cards showing up. The pleasure, the sacred lust, and now the naked card, okay? This purple is giving me a lot of passion as well. Somebody may be celibate. You may not be doing anything with anybody right now. Or if this is this person, or if this is somebody that you have dealt with before, you you pulled your energy back from them and you're not doing anything with them, okay? Um Child, I don't know. Okay, let's get some clarifications. Uh, let's clarify this energy for Libra, please. Can we clarify this energy for Libra? I'm hearing ghosted. This could, somebody could have ghosted you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, so All right, we got some dates. That, well, I'm going to call out the numbers. Okay, 311, 35, 9, 40, 14, 36, 11, 6, and 23. Those numbers could mean something to someone. Um, 11, 11 is here. This may be a twin flame soulmate situation. 11 here. And 11 here, 11, 11 is out here. Hmm. Oh, this may, there may be an Aquarius who is like lusting after you. 33 is out here as well. All right, let's see, let's clarify. Yeah, because after that song, when he says, um, oh, what did I just say? Uh, it, it was just coming to me. The Calvary, the song I was just talking about, the Calvary Richardson song, when he says, I don't know, he says another part, and he's like, um, you fell in love and dropped your guard, baby, that was definitely the wrong move. Yeah, somebody definitely feels like you made the wrong move um, in a choice that you made or will make, will be making 
or somebody feels like, yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Or uh, somebody feels like um, they made the wrong choice when it comes to you, or you could feel like somebody made the wrong choice when it comes to you. There's communication coming in. Child. To you, Libra, look at that. There's communication coming in. Somebody is coming to speak up. I'm telling you, they're coming to speak up. Speak up in truth revealed here. This Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity here. This Knight of Swords is fast forward communication. Somebody rushing in to say something to you, Libra. This is your energy. And I feel like you have your guard up against this person. You like, you, let's see how she got her sword up. You like, um, with the hand, you like, all right, come on. You can talk, but it's like... Give me 50 feet. Like, tell me from over there or, or or whatever you say, you better be coming in correct because I ain't got time for no BS. And the birds like represent messages. And there's one bird in this, in this, um, <laughs> in this card. And it's like, it looks like it's far off in the distance. I feel like you're going to give this person like one chance or this person knows or they feel like they only have one chance to say whatever it is that they have to say to you. So they know that they better come correct here. Okay. Um, yeah. Ten, ten of Pentacles. Somebody's going to confess something, child. I, <laughs> I felt, yeah. King of Cups, their emotions. Somebody is in their emo, like in their, in the King of Cups. It's the King of Cups is someone who is emotionally stable. Okay. This person is very in tune with their emotions. They're able to keep their emotions in check, but, and, but they have a lot of them, like a lot of emotions here. Okay. So somebody's going to come and tell you how they feel about you, Libra. Your child, look, Ace of Cups, and they want them to fall out. Now this could be a new person or this may be somebody from your past. I don't know. Did y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Just tell me what this energy is. I feel like you're someone who's very divine. This divine this divine card, lineage card, is giving me divine feminine energy. Okay. And it's um giving me, yeah, and the and it's card number six. And the six is the lover's card in the tarot. Okay. So you and and it's like a twin flame soulmate card too. It's like a soul contract card. So with the 11 and 11 out here and the six out here. Libra. And also you have 333 out here. You could be seeing 333. You could be seeing 311. You could be seeing 1133. Um, 3311, 336, 335, 233. What's the energy? King of Swords. That's the counterpart to the Queen of Swords. Somebody's been holding back. And they're sorry. Somebody regrets holding back from you. Yeah, look, the emperor. You may have a choice or a decision to make here. Somebody regrets holding back from you. Somebody could be in some type of legal situation. Somebody could be in a position of authority. Yeah, see, there's one message on the Queen of Swords card that I just showed y'all. The King of Swords, there's two messages. There's two birds here so i feel like he only knows he's like trying to decide here okay with the um two of pentacles he's trying to decide what he wants to say what's going to be the best option like like drafting text and all of this stuff and like figuring out what's the best thing to say this could also be you sitting in your masculine and feminine energy okay with the king and the queen of swords coming out here libra i feel like this is you in your divine energy sitting in your masculine and your feminine energy and you just like not taking any ish okay okay this card wants to come out don't know what that is but uh four pinnacles to the strength card somebody yeah remember i said somebody is trying to hold back from you didn't i say somebody was holding back trying to hold back their their energy or trying to hold back from you could be a Capricorn, could be a Leo or a Gemini. Okay. Somebody is like, it's like almost like this lion 
she even looks like she's trying to like tame this line. She's not holding him back, but she's like trying to calm down. And then he got his tongue. Y'all know how animals do, like dogs and cats, when you rubbing on them, right? And they like licking on you. Like they just love all of the t attention and affection and things like that. It's like giving me that. This person is trying, like desperately trying to hold back from you. Like it, they're using all of their strength to hold, to try to hold back this communication from you. To try to to try to keep themselves from coming toward you, Gemini, Le uh, Capricorn, Leo. I also heard Virgo. Yeah, look, Six of Swords. They want to move forward. They want to come towards you. Aquarius energy. We got Aquarius out here. This could be somebody that you're at a distance from, and they want to be closer here with the Six of Swords. Somebody wants to come closer to you. It could be somebody that you have a, had a tower moment with, or this person could be um, going through a tower moment of their own. Look, the three of wands wanted to fall down there. Okay? You could be at distance from this person. The three of wands talks about manifesting. It talks about waiting for something to come in. You, Libra, I said you could be very intuitive. You could know that this person is coming towards you for some of you, and you waiting on this person. Or either this person is waiting for you to come toward them first. But I feel like you may know that this person is coming in. This may be somebody that you're manifesting. Again, like I said, this could be a new love. So if this is a new person, this could be somebody that you're manifesting. Or if you're manifesting an old person or whatever. But whatever it is, I feel like you're waiting. You know that this is coming. Okay? You know that this is coming. If you don't know, now you know. What else? Well, damn, look, I told y'all, Ace of Cups, I just said, we saw the Ace of Cups, new love, this is a new person coming towards you, Libra, Page of um Pentacles, or this is somebody coming in to offer you, like, new love, like, I heard re-energize, like change, something has changed for somebody and they're coming in to offer you new love. Now this page of Pentacles, this could be somebody who's younger than you. This could be a baby, a child's father, like I said before. I feel like you really, really need to use your intuition when it comes to this situation because we are in retrograde. And remember what I said, people, no new relationships during retrograde. New person, old person, I don't, it, not during the grade. Not during the grade, okay? And this don't apply to me because I, I chose to sit retrograde out. I'm just not going to participate, okay? Because retrograde, you know, all of that energy coming back to you, them old people returning, it's ghetto. So, <laughs> so I just asked the universe, like, can I just sit this one out? I, just, I don't want to participate in this retrograde, okay? It's not going well. <laughs> Like, I've already had some energies to try to return. So, you know, I'm just saying that I put it out there. But anyways, that was just a little side note, personal side note. It had nothing to do with y'all. But anyway, Page of Pentacles. This person could be younger than you. This could be somebody that you have a child with. Um, Because the page is, like, not... It's not... A full offer, like a full grown offer. This could be somebody who's in some type of regret here. It's almost like I want to give you this Ace of Cups. Like I want to give you, it's, or it's, it's like I, this is all I have to offer and I want to give it to you. Or it's giving me somebody's um, name could, there could be an M or a W could be significant for somebody's name, first, last, middle, initial. But, um, Somebody's like their love is overflowing. They have endless love for you and things like that. But they may not be doing so well financially. Or I'm also getting this could be somebody who is like getting trying to get a business off the ground or something like that. Or this person could just be younger than you. You could be somebody's younger in this situation. What else? The moon card and the um, two of swords. Libra, this is your energy. It almost wanted to fall out in the reverse. So I'm 
kind of wondering if this person is making a decision to no longer hold back their emotions because that moon card talks about what's hidden and it could talk about holding back their emotions here okay and um the two of swords talks about a decision or being at a crossroads and i feel like they almost wanted to come out in the reverse just like these ace of cups page of pentacles almost wanted to come out in the reverse i'm, I'm kind of feeling like this person is like trying to like they're going through some some type of back and forth in their mind. Like, should I? Should not? Should not? Should I? Should not? Like I said, they're trying to hold back. They're they're they're. I'm hearing, um, old friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I hope you see my face and hope you be reminded that for me, it isn't over. Yo, that type perfectly sums that up. Yup, look, Ace of Wands, they want to have a passionate new start with you. That totally sums up what I was saying. This person, you, if this is a past person or person that you know, you know that this, this could be a very outgoing person and it's not like this person to be shy or, and look, you even have the shy and intimidation card that come, came out here. Okay. This says timid, misunderstood and shy. I feel like this person, um, there is not in their nature to be shy, but I feel like they're intimidated by you. Like the amount of emotions is overflowing. They don't know what to do with all the emotions. Look at the Ace of Cups. It's like, and the bird, it's just like, this is all the emotions that they have for you. It's overflowing. And this bird is coming in to put something else in the cup that's going to cause it to overflow even more. So with it almost coming out in the reverse, I feel like, and I feel like with this page of Pentacles as well, it's giving me like this person is just trying to hold back. Whoever this is, they are desperately trying to hold back from communicating with you or coming toward you. Sorry, y'all. I had to write these down before I forget. I'm trying to... My titles, okay? But yeah, this person is desperately trying to hold back. And they also, like, it's some sexual tension here, okay? They miss that as well. You could have ended something with this person or this talks about a oops, change or a transformation. If somebody was stuck in something or feeling trapped in something, then this, it could be coming to an end here. Somebody's about to speak up, Libra. Okay, there's a, it's giving me another song. Like, I don't be writing down these songs, y'all. So if y'all, I, I, I should, and try to remember to link them in the comments. Um, that song I was just singing was Adele. What's that song? Someone Like You. This person is trying to find someone like you, but they can't. All right, and then there's a song by Alicia Keys called Dragon Days. Um... She goes, um, dragon days and the fire's hot like a desert needs water. I need you a lot. Dragon days, I need to be safe. I'm missing you and a day drag on. Yeah, desperate for you, babe. Do you know what that means? I feel like an addict must be feel when he feeds in an act of desperation i get lost in my dreams then i say desperation this person is definitely trying to hold back from you and they think about you all the time and it's like it makes the days drag on so slowly because they're always constantly thinking about you or thinking about wanting to come towards you wanting to say something to you um this judgment card it's like blowing the whistle. It's like speaking up. It's like 
damn it, I got to say this. I can't contain it anymore. Somebody wants to fix this. But I feel like there's still some type of level of immaturity here with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups showing up. But whoever this is, they want to come toward you. They're desperate for your attention. They're desperate for your affection. I'm hearing, baby, I need your loving. Just to have all your loving. This person is coming toward you. Listen, I know this is a masculine energy. They see you as wish fulfillment. I just saw the star card. Um, I know this is a masculine energy because that's the only time I get like buku downloads like that is when this masculine, there's masculine energy. They communicate through the songs. Look, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a brand new person. Um, for some of you, this is, um, like I said, this is an old person that's, that's in new energy or either they're trying to act like they're in some new energy. I don't know. Again retrograde so y'all be careful of that but i do feel like there's definitely new person coming in libra yeah look knight of swords to the tower somebody's gonna come in they want to talk about this ending that you guys had i heard crash and burn um they want to talk about this ending that you that you guys had if this is a past person they could hit you up on social media. They could be watching your social media here. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. I'm hot. Let's pull for my little relationship love oracle deck. And see what's going on here. Heartbreak. This may be somebody who broke your heart, or this could be somebody who, um, oh, yeah, look, they regret breaking your heart. I told you. Oh, no, that's a different song. I'm hearing that other song, the other Adele song, the Hello from the Other Side. To tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. So this is the past person. They want to come in and say that they're sorry for breaking your heart. They they could regret a choice that they made here. Remember, I was saying that. Yeah, this says guilty, wrong choice, and apology. This person wants to apologize for breaking your heart and making the wrong decision here. Somebody could be addicted, have some type of addictions here. This also talks about a toxic attachment. So this could be a person who's almost at karmic attachment. So this person could be attached to a karmic. Um, they could have went toward a karmic, they could have chosen a karmic toxic situation over you. Um, also, I feel like this person is very addicted to your energy. Okay. Let, yeah. Look, I get jealous. If you have somebody else or you're dealing with somebody else or if, the, or if this person even thinks that you're dealing with somebody else, they get jealous. But meanwhile, they got somebody else. Like make it make sense. What's the energy? What's the energy? Come on now, bro. Okay, so look, the surrender card fell. It's facing up so I can see it and it's in reverse. All right? Like this. Surrender. Surrender. This card talks about letting go, releasing, giving up. This person is not giving up. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to release you. They don't want you to release them. And they are not giving up. Yeah, change. They want to change the situation here. What's the energy? To tell you I'm sorry. For breaking your heart. Oh my gosh. Crossroads. 3344. 30, 30, and I just uh it fell on top of the um heartbreak card. So yeah, this talks about when this when this person had a decision to make here, they now realize that they may have made the wrong choice. This person be at a distance from you. You maybe there's no communication. You're not speaking to this person. I'm hearing something about pajamas. Ooh, put your pajamas on. Look, there may be communication coming in. 
I feel like this is feminine energy. This always gives me communication from the karmic or like if that person's dealing with another person or whoever their ex was, if they, whoever they're leaving to come toward you or whoever they were with before you, it's like that type of energy. All right. So yeah, yeah, look, I told you this person communicates through music because they're not talking to you. You guys could have had a musical connection. Maybe this is somebody who you used to send songs to to tell, you know, you used to send songs to each other to tell each other how you feel about each other. Cause maybe this person isn't great with their words here. Okay. Um, and I feel like that may be why it's going to be so shocking to, for this person to speak up. Cause even though they may be an outgoing personality, I feel like when it comes to like matters of the heart and emotional things, they're not very vocal. They're not, they don't know how to express themselves. Remember I said they could be in that a little immature in that area. So I feel like this person, this person may even reach out to you and like randomly send you a song. Like to just kind of open the gates or test the waters or something like that. So you have storm warming and romantic feelings. Yeah, there's this is give this the storm warning is like the tower card. Okay, it's it's um obstacles, it's upheavals, it's drama. Um, there's something that's going on in this person's life. And with the falling in love here coming out after the storm woman, the romantic feelings, I feel like, yeah, and it's right on top of the damn tower card. I feel like somebody's romantic feelings are crumbling. Somebody's feelings for somebody is crumbling. Now, this could be your feelings about this person. Maybe you just really don't want to deal with them, especially if this is a past person. Or this could be whatever situation this person is in. I feel like their feelings may be crumbling for whoever that they're currently with here, okay? Listen, y'all gonna get a message from this karmic energy from whoever this person is dealing with. I don't know when, I don't know how soon after you start, after you talk to this person, you could even have like one conversation with this person, like I said before, and decide, yeah, hey, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna work for me. I'm good. I'm cool on that. And then this person could still contact you. Okay. I'm hearing, um, missing you is all that I've been thinking of. Missing you. Um. See, this person wants you to know that you won't change this person. But I kind of feel like that's not true because they're coming toward you. And especially if this is somebody who you haven't been dealing with, you've been in no communication with, you're at a distance from each other, and this person still has you on their mind like this, clearly they're the ones who couldn't change this person. And they may be feeling some type of heartbreak as well. But you got the player card. This is somebody who is charming. This also talks about a karmic. Okay? So again, like I said, you could be receiving some communication from this person's karmic, from this person's ex, or whatever, okay. This is your this look soulmate with the patience is a virtue. You've been waiting on your soulmate. Now, this person may be the soulmate that you were waiting for, or you may tell this person, like, look, this isn't gonna work for me. I'm waiting on my soulmate, okay. Yeah, look, new love. <laughs> Some of y'all just be like, no, nah, I'm good, fam. I'm waiting on new love. Oh my gosh, y'all. Spiritual love, living boyfriend, friends. Some of you may have a new love with, with a friend of yours. Or you may find out that your friend is your is your love, your person. Wedding is here. Oh, Libra. Okay. I don't, I don't know. New love. You got soulmate coming out right beside new love. Now, listen, y'all, don't bite my head off and get mad now, okay? Because I'm telling you how this works, 38, 38 on the timer. If this is an old person, past person here, they're coming in in different energy. They're your, they're your soulmate. They could be your twin flame. You could, there could be a reconciliation going on here. Um, This could be a whole new love. Like, there, it's going to be nothing like when you were dealing with them before. This person is going to be, have done a complete 180, okay? You're not even going to be able to recognize this person. They're going to be that different, okay? In the way that they talk to you, in the way that they treat you, in the way that they communicate with you. 
Um, I feel like they're going to be so loving and all of this type of stuff. Like any energy that you were giving them, if you were the one, see how she's all over him, all lovey-dovey. I feel like if that was you in this connection and you decide to reconnect with this person, the energies are going to be switched. The roles are going to be reversed. They're going to be like this around you, um, to you. If this is a new person, they could very well still have a bitter ex karmic somewhere who wants to contact you just because they mad. OK, go back and watch the reading that I did about uh, a karmic wants to talk to you or whatever it was. OK, um, but if this is a new person, like a new, new person, then. Um, shit, I lost my whole damn train of thought. You, look, I split it on wedding again. You may be married to this person or you may be marrying this person. Look, somebody spying on your social media. I told y'all. My bad, y'all. I completely lost my train of thought. It'll come back to me. Okay. For some of y'all, this is a new person. Like a new, new person. These cars were nowhere near each other. Libra. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person feels like they have... Look at this. Y'all, I can't. Look at this. I just showed y'all that wedding card twice. I didn't see any of these cards next to them, but they all came out. And look, I just saw 444 on the timer. 4044. So you guys are either... Matter of fact, I haven't even seen... I don't know why I'm getting old energy, but for some of you, it's old or new. Because I haven't seen any indication of like a past person, not really. But this one, it says unfinished business. So clearly this is somebody who you've dealt with before. It's not over. Yeah, and I said somebody didn't want something to be over. Surrender. Yeah, somebody didn't want to let something go. Y'all, this person wants to... Y'all see it? Y'all see it? If you decide not to reconnect with the old person, I feel like the next person that you meet is going to be the person. Because you, because even if this person, past person, is a soulmate connection, um, even I feel like things will go well with this person. If you guys reconnect, you could end up in this um, marriage situation here if you decide to start over with somebody from your past. But even if you don't, that's not the end all be all. You don't have to rec reconnect with that person. Even if you don't, there could still be a brand new person coming in for you that you're going to marry. Okay. So don't think that you just have to take this person back. Like, no. Okay. For some of you, like I said, this is somebody that you had a family with or had a child with or something like that. Whatever this union is, whichever way you decided, whichever, whichever the next union that you decide to get into, Libra, it's going to be a highly, highly spiritual and highly protected union. I feel like this is somebody who's going to pray with you or who's going to manifest with you and meditate with you. Um, it's it's going to be beautiful, Libra. Look at the relationship and the family again. Oh, my God. Look at the text message with the magnetic attraction. Y'all going to get communication from this person. Maybe on social media. Yeah. Again, remember I said something about ghosted. This could be somebody who ghosted you. Some of you may meet this person at work. Somebody could also have two families. Uh, no, that ain't for everybody. That's just a little side note. But <laughs> um, also, this person could want to have a child with you. I think I said, accidentally said something about pregnancy earlier, didn't I? Yeah, somebody could want to have a child with you, this person. Or they want to have a family with you or build a family with you. Even if you already have kids, that's a family, okay? They'll make your kids their kids and vice versa, okay? Yeah, somebody can't help it. You're irresistible to them. Like I said, they're trying their best to hold back, but the magnetic attraction, the, the pull toward you is just too much. It's too strong. Look, child, I'm not pulling no more damn cards. Look at this. The star card with the happy. This person sees you as a star. They see you as the one. Star card talks about wish fulfillment. Emotional. I'm hearing emotional fulfillment as well. Happy. This person... 
I feel like, like I said, whichever route you decide to take, whether you want to go ahead and take this person back, not during retrograde, wait until after retrograde and see if they still in the same mindset. Okay. 4114 on the timer. But, um, I feel like, uh, even if this is a new person, either way, you're going to be happy. Even if you have to wait a little while longer for this new person to come in, for some of you, you may be already talking to a new person and this past person comes back and you have a decision to make, um, with that crossroads card here. But I feel like whatever decision that you decide, you're going to use your intuition and you're going to decide what's best for you. And either way, you're going to be happy 44, 44 on the timer. Boo. As I said that. Third party codependent grass is greener. Yeah, y'all going to have some ex drama. This could be an ex on your side, an ex on their side, um, whoever they're divorcing, breaking up with, separating from, or if this is you. Yeah, somebody, there's an ex or somebody who's like going to be stalking your social media if they're not already. Oh, child, do I want to pull anything else? Yes, let me get some love angel messages. Oh, look on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Reconciliation, boo. Good grief. Somebody's dealing with somebody who's very, very codependent or who may be going through some type of addiction. Codependency could be them being codependent on this person um, or it could be them, you know, being codependent on some type of addiction, drugs, alcohol, sex, something like that. You're going to have a lot of chemistry with this new love, whichever, however it's coming into your life. Yeah, because you've been loving yourself first, putting yourself first, loving yourself first, and you've been healing. Yeah, respecting yourself, loving yourself, healing yourself. Oh, child, look, it just flipped right on over. <laughs> it just flipped on over new love. For some of you, this is definitely, and look, it was right here underneath the new love. For some of you, this is new, new love. New, new love. I'm trying to tell you now. For some of y'all, this may be an old person and it's just going to feel like new love, Okay. Or not an old person, could be a person that you've known for a while, okay? Could be a friend of yours who was always making, you know, you always felt like you should be with that person or they felt like they should be with you and they're just watching you constantly with other people and you're watching that person with other people and knowing all the whole damn time that y'all really going to end up together in the end. Like, <laughs> look, past life relationship, child, you have known each other before. Look, calling in your soulmate, some type of deception. Somebody's wearing a false mask. And I and I really am strongly feeling that that is that this person trying to hold back and hide their feelings and trying to hold back from you and not say how they feel, probably not being honest with themselves about how they feel or not um, understanding the emotions that they're feeling or how to process them or what direction they need to go in. Anything else? This person is not, I'm hearing... Can't keep my hands to myself. Now he got his hands all over her child. Yeah, this person is not going to be able to keep their hands off of you once they get to you. Because right now, that's what they're trying to hold back from. Is like coming toward you. Because I I feel like whoever... Look, oh my gosh, I cannot with y'all. Before I show y'all, I feel like whoever this person is, they... They want to come towards you sexually. They just do. And I'm not saying that's all they want, but it's heavy on their mind. And this person knows that if they come at you like that, then you're going to feel some type of way. You're going to be like, oh, that's all you want, da, 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 whatever, but that's not the case. Or, and they also know that um, they don't want to do that. They don't want you thinking that. They don't want you to feel like that. They want you to know that they're coming at you genuinely even though it's a lot of sexual attraction there, okay? But look, this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Wedding. And then you have free yourself right here, yet with the separation. So this person could be getting a divorce or separating from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Libra. 
I'm going to leave that right there. I hope you guys got something out of this message. I will see y'all in the next one. Until then, I'm wishing y'all peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right. See y'all later. Bye.